Man, this book is super fucking boring so far. Something's gotta happen fast. This is a whole lot of blah blah blah, you know what I mean? Goodbye, Sibel. <laughs> Can we get like some traveling montage music with this? <laughs> Again with this, are you seriously not going into the water because your father told you not to? We're 16, not six anymore. I made him a promise. I keep my promises. Always the same with you. I hope your promises keep your co you company, Arthur Curry. Who gets this upset that a guy won't go into the water with her? Hello, fair prince. I also love that Mara immediately finds him upon- Just immediately when she pops her head out of the water, boom, he's right there. Help! First of all, you think that he's evil right so why would he save a civilian if he's evil second of all didn't you just hear this conversation i know you heard it because you knew that this was arthur because she called him arthur curry so you heard this conversation of him saying that he's not allowed to go in the water and this is how you plan to catch him oh he gets a boat okay <laughs> he gets a boat i'm taking her to the hospital where's ellery the girls are on their boards Go! I'll tell them. We'll get a ride. You're going to be okay. No, hospital. Please. Your arm. Who did that to you? Please, no hospital. Don't worry. You're safe now. I'll take care of you. Kara was right. I don't have my powers on land yet. This is going to be harder than I thought. I can barely stand. Are you okay? You look like you're shaking. I don't mean to scare you. I want to help. Is there someone I can call for you? Your parents, maybe? No, no, no need to call my parents. They aren't home. They're traveling very far away. Okay. I'm Arthur, by the way. Just give a shout if you need me. I will. Just rest for a bit. Then I will wake up and finish the job I came here to do. Yawn. Comfortable place to put the knife right under the pillow. God forbid you, like, slide your hand underneath your pillow to rest your head on and then just slice your hand open. Mara. Halan, shh. You're going to get me killed. Killed? OMG. <laughs> Where are you? Why would you get killed? I'm on a mission for my father, if you must know. Your father's turning Zabel inside out looking for you. He just questioned me for the last two hours. I can't cover for you if I don't know what's going on. Okay. What is the point of this conversation? Why are they talking to each other? I just want the story to progress. Is that so wrong? We have to be quiet. I don't want to wake up my dad. <laughs> Just give a shout if you need me. Being nice won't save you, Atlantean. <laughs> I literally captured you from your kindness. Ellery is going to kill you. Why? Just look at her. She's freaking gorgeous. Yeah, but she's not my type. Oh, fucking burn. Really? Okay. You gotta fit the pussy hat somewhere in there, right? What is it? Not so different from us, but we feed our children. I know, it seems like there's some new bad thing every day. How do you, I mean, how do we live like this? It can be scary, but dad says there's always hope if people are willing to fight for what's right. And what do you say? Do you believe him? None of it ever touches us here, but I think there's more good than bad in everyone. You're safe here, Mara, so if there's anything you want to tell me, you can. Like what? Like how you ended up out there, so far from any boats? What happened to you? Whenever you're ready, I'm here. Thank you. A few hours later, yawning again- every time- <laughs> Every time we see her, she's like yawning in bed. Is she ever gonna get out of there? Oh, look at you coming out of the shower. Can I take you somewhere? Home, maybe? I can't kill him if I'm not with him. I will go with you to work. I'm sorry, Arthur. You won't make it very far. Is this some kind of wetsuit? Wetsuit? I don't think you can wear that on the boardwalk, so I borrowed these from my dad's room. I don't know if they'll fit. I guess mom was a little shorter than you. Mom? She's gone. I'm sorry. I never even knew her, but my dad never let go of her. Is he lying or does he not know? My dad, we have to hide. Arthur, 
You're going to be late for work if you don't get a move on. Sorry about that. My dad would have flipped if he'd known I had kept you in my room the last two nights. No shotgun for you today. <laughs> Just two random kids in the car with them. Man, killing people is so hard. Are you sure you're okay with me bringing you here instead of home? And she just doesn't answer. Oh my god, cotton candy, I love that because I'm a girl, woohoo. Well, this is me. Want to climb? Not now. I have to go. I guess this is goodbye then. Not goodbye. I will be seeing you. Is it done? No, I screwed up. I was too weak. It took too long to adjust to being out of the water. He had to take care of me. What's he like? What do you mean, what's he like? He's an Atlantean. But he's nicer than any Atlantean I have met. Nicer than any Sibelian, too. What do I do, Palan? I blew my chance. You can still come home. Leave this to Larkin and the army. He's only in this because he's a boy, Palan. I am the rightful heir. No way am I gift wrapping my throne for Larkin. Then get close to Arthur. Really close to him. Palan, not like that, like what you told me to do at the protest. What brilliant thing did I say? Act like you belong until you belong. I have to go. Mm. I am not my dress, but I might need a new one. Time to go shopping. All right, I'm skipping the shopping scene because this is actually pointless. Oh, she steals the dress. That's a nice little, <laughs> that's a nice little side note. And <laughs> she's smirking about it. She's like, try me. Go ahead, try to take this dress back. You won't, you fucking coward. Help. Hang in there, little man. Dun 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 dun! Everyone gets scared, but the trick is to keep moving, and before you know it, you're in a whole new place, and the fear isn't there anymore. You want to try? Yes. And I'm falling off. Yay! Caught him, even though he's attached to a wire and not in any danger in the first place. Yay! And then he smooches up his girlfriend, and oh, she's jealous. Is she jealous? Even though she has been planning to kill this guy the whole time. It is kind of messed up whenever they do like a, a love triangle romance where two people are already dating and then some snake just comes in and is like, I'm gonna break them up. And like, she already had a guy. <laughs> she already had a guy who was like her childhood friend all the way back at home who, is like being set up for her to marry and everything, and she does seem to like him, but she decided, nah, I'm not gonna be with you. Probably cause he's black, right? Is Mara a racist? Is that where we're going with? And she's following Arthur, doing all this <laughs> nice stuff for people. No one is this good all the time. It must be part of his cover. Finally, just you and me. No interruptions, no distractions. I don't even need my life, my knife. <clears throat> the water is my knife. But I could also just stab you with my knife. And You've got to be sharking me. Okay, so these people want his wallet. Uh, now he's gonna do like some crazy kung fu, or is she going to like, <laughs> is she gonna save his life? Oh, please. No one hurts him but me. Oh, she's so cool. Oh, she's beating up all the guys. Yay. Yes, Queen's like. How on earth did you learn to do that? What, a girl can't be strong? I'm just impressed, that's all. You can protect me anytime. I'll happily follow your lead, my hero. Let me thank you properly. How about dinner? Uh, oh, and she leaves her, like, phone for her friend on the floor. Hey, are you okay? Are you hurt? You haven't said a word since the boardwalk. I'm fine. I am just glad we are finally alone. I can't promise that, huh? Mara, meet my dad. Call me Tom. I texted him on the way over and told him what you did. Great, just great. Your son and I are even. How's that? Mara, don't. He saved me first. I was drowning and he saved me. Dad, I can explain. I swear I'm evil. I didn't mean to cause any trouble, Mr. Curry. Mara, I'm so glad that you are safe. Arthur will discuss this later. Why don't you show Mara the light? Is your dad what you're running away from? 
Wait, what? The way you talk about him, the bruises, the way you fight, Mara, it all adds up. I love my dad, but he underestimates me. He wants me to be one thing. And what's that? A princess, not a warrior. Well, tough. <laughs> And what are you looking for? I love it here, but sometimes I feel like I'm supposed to be somewhere else. Doing something that matters. One little push. Maybe it's because it was always forbidden. And I know it sounds crazy, but it's like I need to be near the water, you know? Don't listen to him. Just do it. He doesn't know who he is. He hasn't done anything wrong. He's innocent. Mara, you okay? I'm fine. I just need to catch my breath. Maybe coming up here wasn't a good idea after what happened tonight. Sorry. Don't be. Did you ever think that it's something else? You and your dad? What? You saw how my dad freaked out about the water. My dad doesn't want me in it because we lost my mom to it. He's scared. Oh god, is this really the same? This is like similar to the, the Aqualad. Sometimes when people are scared, they hold on too tight. So you just listened to him? Even though you know better? I listened to him until I couldn't anymore. This is really good dialogue. You disobeyed your dad to save someone. I did it too. To do what? Mara? You had one job, Mara. Why haven't you done it yet? You'll kill him tomorrow. Oh shit, Larkin's here. Did you come all this way to kiss him or kill him? Larkin, how are you here? You ran away, Mara. Your father is worried about you. I was worried. I hate how we left things. I told Hikara, you didn't tell me. What is happening here, Mara? Because that looked more like a date than a date with death. I was waiting for the right moment. That's not what it looked like. Wait, were you spying on me? No, I was looking for you. You're not supposed to be here, Mara. No, you're not supposed to be here. This is my birthright. I don't care what you or my father might say. I have more of a right to be here than you. You're right, you do. Oh shit, he agreed. I should have said we could rule together, side by side. Yeah, you did. It's always been us. Then why did you stop acting like my friend and start acting like our fathers? Ouch. What happened, Larkin? When did you stop caring what I wanted? That's all I care about. Everything I've done, I did it for us. If you want to be the one to kill the prince, do it tonight. You'll back off. But when the sun meets the water again tomorrow, the prince will be gone, either by my hand or by yours. Thank you. We won't be like them, Mara, but we can't pretend that they don't exist. If one of us doesn't take the prince out, we have no future together. The only way we get out from under them is to be united on the throne. This is not the way you want me. This is not the way to my heart. I have the rest of our lives to win your heart. You'll see. It'll be like it was. Don't feel bad, Mara. He's already dead. If it isn't you or me, it will be your father. He's on his way, and he is bringing the full force of our army to take down Prince Arthur. Prince Arthur? And once again, she throws the earrings away. And then she goes back and picks them up. He's dead either way. I have to do what I came here for. Program restart.